Hey guys, Taro here bringing you the 1.2 update on the December balance preview. So as you can read here, this is on page 21 of the code2.org thread on the preview. Basically, they can't get the mod to update in the Steam Workshop. So uh, if, if you have a look here, they've released a version 1.2 and now 1.21 just uh, as of this morning and this is actually a separate mod because they can't update the uh, the 1.1 so if you download 1.1 this this is this one here there's actually 1.21 maybe at some point they'll be able to get this one working but not currently and so I hear this, Steam Workshop can be quite difficult to update sometimes, so anyway, getting into this balance preview and make sure you go and download the new one if you intend to test the changes. The main change here is to conscripts, changing the near range back to 0 from 10, so reversing that, and they're adjusting and increasing the near accuracy to compensate, So because apparently their DPS curve was incorrect, and it's very hard to fine-tune a DPS curve it seems to be so that is reverting that and they're changing forward retreat points now it's going to reinforcement time per model rather than a 20% manpower increase and uh, you can immediately disable the forward retreat point I talked about how that that was a bad change and they have got rid of that because of you know off-map strikes and being pinned and whatnot so that's a good change as well and uh, 120 second cooldown remains so it, I'm not sure 75% change or you know, increase in time makes me think that like forward retreat points are really only going to be viable in 4v4s because in a 1v1 obviously the retreat path not as long so using a forward retreat point you know doesn't give you as much of a time advantage and then stacking a 75% re reinforcement time penalty on that it's probably going to work out to about break even so you might might want to use it but it's certainly going to impact both fours and ones but perhaps in ones they may not even be worthwhile anyway rear echelons cannot use smoke when upgraded to flamethrowers maybe they didn't include that in the 1.1 notes and then we got some bug fixes this is just a small patch I think they're trying to save some of the big changes till the commander voting is done let's have a look at these bug fixes fix an issue that prevented squads from properly obeying garrisoning commands okay readjusted pathing pathfinding behavior for vehicles to avoid suboptimal behavior around obstacles that sounds good addressed an issue with target weak point and tread shot abilities that were taking too long to fire it's fine hammer tracking ah see I did I talked about this how hammer tracking went was now uh, longer than the reload time of the firefly and so that was really bad for the firefly but they've reverted that partially to 9.5 so i think well i mean we can check but i think the uh the reload time was i think about like 8.7 or something for the firefly so i think that's directly aimed at that so the firefly will work with hammer tracking now so we're going to check that reload time 8.13 so 8.13 and then you have like a it's probably like a little bit of a re-aim time kind of thing so it looks like that's directly aimed at fixing that so that's good and <coughs> okay adjusted Lenly Sherman hotkey to avoid overlap okay that's good and fixed an issue with ejection would cost 145 fuel instead of 140. Okay. So yeah, I think this one here. I mean, <laughs> I don't want to brag, but 
Mr. Smith said he watched everyone's reaction videos, or like me, Hans, A, like all all of them to the patch notes. So maybe he watched me say that that was a big problem for the Firefly and changed it accordingly. So yeah, there we go. Just a small update. And if you do want to play the mod, make sure you go to the new version, the 1.21. I mean, if you're not playing with conscripts, it probably doesn't matter too much if you're playing one of the other factions, but obviously conscripts are one of the biggest changes, so you probably want to test that the most. So make sure you get this new one, especially if you want to test it in the next couple of days before the uh, workshop version gets updated. So yeah, I'll wrap on that, guys. And uh, make sure you send in your replays of the Blanche Patch games. Peace.